Yeah, very lucky to pick up a ride um, like Wonderlish in the Galway Hurdle. Um, I was impressed with him when I rode him in the Grimes Hurdle in Tipperary. Uh, that was his first start for a long time. And he ran a nice race, went, went third behind Petty Mouchoir and, and Araman off level weights. Uh, he's in receipt of uh, £12 off them in the Galway Hurdle. So you'd be hopeful with normal improvement that he can reverse the form with them. Um, but it looks ultra competitive, you know, as you'd expect for a Galway Hurdle. Um, and Tudor said he was, was a good winner last year. You know, forecast probably had a, a lot to do with, with my decision as well. You know, there's plenty of rain forecast for Bally Brit. Um, and I'd imagine the Galway Hurdle is going to start on, on at best probably yielding ground, if not yielding the soft. So uh, Wonderlace has form on, on that sort of ground as well. And Tudor City is, is definitely better on, on a bit better ground. He's um, £8 higher as well than, than last year. And uh, Tony Martin has gone for, for Sean O'Keefe to take £5 off to, to loosen that burden. And Sean is great value for that £5 as well. And Robbie, I know when we talked to you last week, looking ahead to this um, Galway Hurdle, you did put up Felix Deji as a horse that would have to have a huge chance in this particular contest. Is he still the one that you feel... Um, is one of your big dangers? Almost definitely, yeah. Um, he's got 11 stone six on his back and he's got that for a reason. You know, he was uh, his last two runs were in grade ones. He was first and second in both of them. He had an idea prep for the race on the flat in Navin. Jamie Codd rode him. He absolutely bolted up in a, in a flat race in Navin. Um, and he's a horse, in my opinion, is could well be a grade one horse masquerading in a in a Galway hurdle, you know, um, he's a horse that I could easily see lining up in some of the two mile grade ones later on in the season. So, uh, if he's going to progress to that level, I know Gordon rates him very, very highly. And if he's going to progress to that level, even with 11 stone six on his back, um, he's going to take plenty of beating in a Galway hurdle.